May dayat nga gaon sa tanan. Good morning and we would like to welcome everyone to the provincial and municipal elected officials oath taking ceremony at the provincial at the ABL Sports Complex. So we would like to acknowledge our uh, honorable mayors, our SB members, of course our provincial uh, officials that are here with us today. Siyempre, aton gate nga ginabi-abi nung uh, makikibang ka aton kung aton nga limogit kanon sa Kongreso, the Honorable Congressman Chodorico Ted Nonong Tumbukon Haresco. And also, we would like to acknowledge our Governor, Governor Florenzo T. Mera Flores. Joining with us also is Honorable Vice Governor Reynaldo Boy Mihares Kimpo. And we have our SP members that are here with us today. We have our senior Sangguniang Palalawigan member, Jose Miguel Martin Miraflores. We have also with us SP Ampod Niron. We also have here Honorable SP member J. Eulalio Tijada. We have also here with us SP member Soviet Russia de la Cruz. Nakita man natin si uh, Honorable Sangguniang Palalawigan Member Juris Bautista Sucro. We would also like to acknowledge our municipal mayors that are here with us today. First up, we have like, Honorable Mayor of the Municipality of Banga, Mayor Erlinda M. Maming. We have Honorable Mayor of the Municipality of Buruanga, Mayor Inday Labindao. Honorable Mayor of the Municipality of Leso, Mayor Mary Lynette Fernandez. I've also seen uh, the Municipal Mayor of the Municipality of Libacao, Mayor Navarosa. Also, we have here Honorable Concepcion P. Labindao of Buruanga, Honorable Jane Solanoy of Nabas, Honorable Alfonso Gubatina of Madalag, Honorable Gary Fuentes of Tagalan, Honorable Avencio Torres of Makato, and of course, Honorable Rodel Ramos of Batayne. We also would like to acknowledge our Honorable Vice Mayors from uh, different municipalities. We have here Honorable William R. Bautista Jr. of Batan, 
We have also uh, Honorable Vice Mayor Claridel Solidon of the Municipality of Ibahay. Honorable Femi Dumagi no Burwanga. Honorable Cynthia Grace C. De La Cruz of the Municipality of Calibo. Honorable George Villarubia of Leso. We have Honorable Wilfredo Cesar of the Municipality of Navas. Honorable Jean Fuentes of Tangalan. And syempre magiging kaibahaman natin, Honorable Vice Mayor Rex Gubatina of Madalag. We also would like to acknowledge the uh, presence of Sangguniang Panalawigan member Nelson Dalisay Santa Maria. And we also would like to acknowledge the presence of our provincial government department heads. Iyaman makaron kay Bana ton dong uh, Philippine Councilors League President sa aton nya Sangguniang Panalawigan member Teddy Tupas. And uh, mga kababayan, atin pong kinagagalan ang pagdating ng ating panauhing pandagala, ang atin pong hinahangaan, ating senador ng bayan, walang iba ko di sa senador, Cynthia Aguilar Villar. Once again, aton niya palakpakan, doong pakikiba ka aton kung aton niya senadora, Senator Cynthia A. Villar. the presence of a former Vice Governor Ronquillo Tolentino, sir, good morning. We also have here a former Mayor Antonio Antong Maming, good morning, sir. Former Mayor Vic Fernandez, good morning. Former Mayor Quezon Lavindao of Uruanga. Former Vice Mayor Madeline Ang Regalado.
would also like to acknowledge our SP member, SL Flores. Joining me also is our Honorable Mayor Rodel Ramos of Bainay. We also would like to acknowledge former Sangguniang Palalawigan member Jose Yap of Malay. Of course, kay Baham Manacon, former Mayor Lulu Martin Meroflores. I also would like to acknowledge Honorable Vice Mayor Vince Navarosa of Ibarcao. Good morning, everyone, and our host for today. Let's all welcome Mr. Mars Bernabe and Miss Miriam Ildesa. Good morning. Good morning, Miriam, and yes, uh, morning. a pleasant morning to everyone gathered here at this moment. Today, we will be witnessing the oath taking of our newly elected provincial and municipal officials for term 2019-2022. Yes, my own March, and today is a remarkable day because our province is celebrating another milestone in our pursuit for the continued progress and development of a clan 
now under the newly elected officials of our province who were given the mandate by our people. And since you had mentioned oath, Miriam, we all know that oath is a solemn promise or pledge of a person to some course of actions. So may I request everyone to please stand for the Aklan hymn to be led by the Aklan Provincial Choral, the National Anthem, and of course, the Xology. Ang kisap ng matawat, pwede na. Ay narag ni rin ni 
thank you very much to our Aklan Provincial Choral. And once again, good morning. You know what, Miriam? This is a uh, very special event for Aklan. We are seeing our uh, provincial leaders and of course our municipal leaders that are here today showing uh, support in terms of the aim of our provincial executives to have one united Aklan or the united leadership for the local economic development. And uh, even our barangay officials are here as well because they are the grassroots in terms of uh, the political aspect in the in, in the Philippines and in uh, yes Aklan no hay ratong gusto hay magkaroon ng local economic development para makatao kita it mayad or abo nga trabaho sa aton nga mga pumuguyong Aklanon and of course to improve the lives of everyone living in the province of Aklan yes madong marsh and of course before we forget we also have here uh, kasama din po natin ng isang butihin at pinagtipitagang panauhing pandangal who is also a contributor in terms of the local economic development here in Aklan kasi sa mga projects na in-extend niya dito sa ating probinsya. So siya po ay um, formally i-introduce natin later. But meanwhile, may we formally welcome, may we formally uh, request Senior Sangguniang Panlalawigan Member Honorable Jose Miguel M. Miraflores for his words of welcome. Republic of the Philippines, Senator Cynthia Villar, Governor Florencio Joben Miraflores, Congressman Nonong Haresco, Vice Governor Reynaldo Boy Kimpo, former Congressman and Vice Governor Gabrieli Billy Caliso Kimpo, Municipal Mayors, Vice Mayors, and Consulars from Eastern and western side of Aklan, my fellow board members, fellow public servants, guests from the national agencies, heads of the provincial offices, family, friends, supporters, fellow Aklanon, good morning. This is a day of celebration for all our hard work, cooperation and dedication for the continued progress that we envision for our fellow Aklanon. My warmest welcome to everyone, especially to our supporters who believe in us, who is our strength, our reason to continue serving the Aklanons. Let us enjoy this rare moment in celebrating our oath to serve the people of Aklan. My idol in politics say, in doing public service, excellence must be a habit. No wonder that the provincial government of Aklan continuously reap the national and regional recognition and awards because of the quality of service being provided and prioritized by this administration. Once again, welcome to the oath taking of the newly elected provincial and municipal officials for the term 2019 to 2022. Good morning to everyone. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Our uh, senior Sangguniang and Panalawigan member, Honorable Jose Miguel M. Mera Flores. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to showcase the best of a kind, let us all witness a production number from the 2017 Aliu Awardee for the Best Cultural Group. Let's all welcome the Atlanta Performing Arts Network. Bisan tamon natin, 
Sustainable Development Goals ay ginapanawagan sa bilog ng kalibutan para umaksyon sa pagtapna at kapubrihan, proteksyonan ang kalibutan, ang siguraduhon ng rutanan ng pumuguyo, ang nagapangabuhi at matawahay ang progresibo. May 17 ka goals na maging giya naton para maagong dutuyo at dayang programa. Mga kasimanwa, mag-intra at magpartisipa sa programa at atong gobyerno. Magbuligang kita para sa atong puturo at sa puturo at atong mga inunga. Tanan kita iya sa probinsya at aklan magasuporta sa Sustainable Development Goals. an amazing performance of course that's from the Aklan Performing Arts Network directed by Aliw Awardee Peter Macrohon and for the information of everyone the, the performance presented is a uh, collective effort of uh, Aklanons who are awarded in terms of sports in terms of uh, music and of course uh, sa atun nga mga cultural presentation so once again uh, Aklan Performing Arts Network. Yes, definitely. The only thing that I can think about was that it was definitely... It was definitely a well-deserved win back in 2017. So congratulations to the Aklan Performing Arts Network. And now to move on from that incredible performance, May I call on former Congresswoman and Vice Governor Gabrielle V. Calizo Kimpo to formally introduce to us our Administrating Officer. Governor Miraflores and his lady, former Mayor Lulu Miraflores, Representative Judorico Jaresco, my partner, the Honorable Vice Governor Reynaldo Quimpo, the Honorable Mayors, Vice Mayors, members of the Saguniang Bayan, Department heads of the provincial government, heads of agencies, members of the business sector, and all the other NGOs, POs, mga kasimanwang akyanon, mayad ayad nga agahon katuntanan. Good morning! Ladies and gentlemen, our guest of honor, an administering officer today needs no introduction simply because Aklanon knows her too well. That day, we all voted for this admirable woman and made her number one senator in the province of Aklan this 2019 election. Palakpakan natin imaw. It is inspiring that Aklanons know exactly who is worthy of their vote. Unlike majority of informed voters nationwide, place this lady on top of the list among senatorial candidates, garnering a total of 25,283,000 727 votes, which is unprecedented for a senatorial post for a country. 
Why? Because we all know that this lady is probably the only senator who has personally met and touched the lives of as many Filipinos from all walks of life in the course of her 19 years in public service. And even before then, as the wife of a self-made man, former Speaker of the House and Senate President, who would rather be known as a business entrepreneur, highly respected for his quiet and unassuming ways. And this is no other than Senator Manuel Manny Villar. Senator Manny is a living proof that hard work, perseverance, and determination is the best, if not the only formula for success. More so if one has barely enough to live by. Kilaya gidnaton imaura ag palangga gidnaton sa akyan. Haman, dahil kung ruakyan naga experience it kalisud. Parehas ko bagyo nga Yolanda. She came immediately and she brought with her the two agencies that she is chairing in the, in the Senate, the Department of Agriculture and the Department of Natural Resources. And she worked for the rehabilitation of our coconut trees with uh, some five million uh, trees in a clan, half of which Natumba. So through the PCA or Philippine Coconut Authority, Hayana nga ginbuligan, do mga banwa banwa nga makatanong kita tanan it uman it aton nga mga kaniyugan. Imawman don nung nagpatigayon nga ato mga fisher folks, hay matawuan it ang nama replace tana mga baroto. Imawman don nung mag Pat, nagpatigayon nga ato mga farmers ay matauan it subsidy paagi sa mga ahensya it gobyerno nga ana nga gina uh, oversee as a senator kasari-sari ra ana nga gindagarya katun sa aklan malisud yo ni akong batubatuhon but the fact remains no, that this lady whenever a clan is has a problem. Like, I could remember kat anay hay nasunog Rosila Serna. Ay pagkabati nana, she came, she flew right away and brought mga galvanized iron roof ag mga gambung para sa atong mga nasunugan iya. Mauron imaw kapersonal kung mag sa anang mga ginapalangga ng mga constituents. This lady, though born in a privileged Aguilar family of Las Piñas, has chosen not to just sit back and enjoy her privileged status in society, but has opted to work with her husband, climb the ladder of building a business from scratch. As husband and wife team, the Villiers went through the rigors of ups and downs in life, but through their shared dictum of Sipag Atyaga, they successfully, on an extraordinary scale, built not only a business, but an empire that gave shelter to millions of Filipinos across all spectrum of Philippine society, from the working class to the very rich. What they did together in only a span of barely three decades has made a marked contribution to the development of Philippine economy as well as in other countries in Asia. They have made available the most basic needs of man, a decent shelter, food, and many more services and goods in their conglomerate of companies. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the kind of stuff that this lady is made of. 
But what is most important for us all now is the fact that she did not rest on her laurels and enjoy their financial success like most women would. I probably would, won't we ladies? This lady instead threw her hat in the public service by personal choice. And she even worked harder this time simply because she truly wants to effect change and improve the lives of each and every Filipino. She truly believes that to emancipate our people from poverty, they have to be empowered through livelihood, provided access to equal opportunities to acquire skills and create their own income. Hence, he gained the moniker, Mrs. Hanep Buhay. However, she also realized that for our people to appreciate her dream for them, she has to personally banner her advocacies. Thus, she founded Villar Foundation, now called Villar Social Institute for Poverty Alleviation and Governance, or Villar CPAG which to date has implemented livelihood projects in nearly 1,932 locations all over the country. And in the last three years, 1,855 farm schools nationwide supported by TESTA. This senator is a no-nonsense woman. She will not hesitate to expose irregularities in our government bureaucracy, as she has done so in many public hearings. This senator is a believer in simple solutions to problems, but solutions that are innovative and relevant to the needs of the time. Such is the reason of her choice as the honored administering officer of the oath of office for our newly elected officials because she is a sterling example of change. The change that we at Clanons aspire in our leaders who will be responsible to shape our future. As Mahatma Gandhi said, and I quote, be the change that you want to see in the world. And as John Maxwell the author of the book, Leadership, said, and I quote, You cannot be the same, think the same, and act the same if you hope to be successful in a world that does not remain the same. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce to you the true agent of change for a better Philippines, the Honorable Cynthia Aguilar Villar, Senator of the Republic of the Philippines. of the provincial and municipal elected officials of uh, Aklan, province of Aklan. And I want to acknowledge our uh, government officials from Aklan, headed by our governor of the province of Aklan, Governor Florencio Miraflores. Palakpakan po natin siya. And of course, our Vice Governor of Aklan, uh, Vice Governor Reynaldo Kimpo. And the Congressman from the 2nd District of Aklan, uh, Congressman Chodorico Jaresco Jr. 
and our former Congresswoman and Vice Governor of Aklan, uh, Ms. Gabrielle Caliso Kimpo. And all the board members, palakpakan po natin sila. The mayors, <laughs> the vice mayors, palakpakan po natin. Sangguni Ambayan members na naandito. And of course, our barangay officials, uh, ang ating mga uh, kapitan at mga kagawad, uh, guests, friends from media, and our uh, uh, other local government officials, ladies and gentlemen, pa iad ayad nga agahon kinyo tanan. First of all, ako po ay nagpapasalamat na ako ang piniling yung administering officer sa panunumpa sa katungkulan ng mga newly elected officials ng ating mahal na probinsya ng Aklan na pinangungunahan ng ating Provincial Governor Florencio Miraflores, Provincial Vice Governor Reynaldo Kimpo, Congressman Teddy Haresco Jr., at ang Sangguniang Panlalawigan members, Sangguniang Bayan members, our Municipal Mayors and Vice Mayor. It is truly an honor to be part of this inaugural ceremony and to administer the oath of the newly elected officials of the province of Aklan. Pukunin ko na rin po ang pagkakataon na ito na lubos kayong pasalamatan sa pagsuporta nyo sa amin sa katatapos na 2019 midterm election. Maraming salamat po galing sa inyong lingkod, pati na yung mga kapartido ko sa Nationalista Party, at yung aking mga kasama na senador sa hukpong ng pagbabag. Maraming salamat po at makakaasa kayo na lalo pa namin sisipagan ang paglilingkod sa ating bayan sa ating ikalawang termino bilang senador. Huwag po sana kayong magsawa sa pagsuporta at kami naman po ay itutuloy ang suporta sa inyong lahat sa ubo sa lupa sa lubos ng aming kakayanan. Nais ko rin pong ipabot sa bawat isa sa mga manunumpa sa tungkulin ang taos puso kong pagbati at hagad namin lahat ang inyong tagumpay sa pagsisilbi sa ating mga kababayan dito sa ating uh, mahal na probinsya at famous na probinsya ng Aklan. Inaasahan naman ng inyong mga taga-suporta na walang patid na serbisyo ang inyong patuloy ay pagkakaloob sa inyong mga kababayan. Katuwang nyo kami sa inyong hangad na pagunlad para sa inyong mga munisipalidad at sa buong probinsya. Bilang mga lingkod bayan, patid natin ang pagmamahal, pagkalinga at paglilingkod na dapat nating ilaan sa taong bayan. Hindi biro at puno ng responsibilidad. Ang lahat ng mga iyan ay kasama sa ating sinumpaang tungkulin at bahagi ng ating pang-araw-araw na pamumuhay habang tayo ay nasa ating mga pwesto. Kaya napakahalaga rin para sa atin ang suporta at kumpiyansa ng ating mga kababayan. Yan naman ang hangat ko ay ibibigay sa inyong lahat ng ating mga taga-probinsya ng Aklan. Sa ating panig naman, para makasiguro tayo ng todong suporta at patuloy na kumpiyansa ng taong bayan, kailangan natin na ipakita sa pamamagitan ng ating mga programa at proyekto ang ating pagtupad sa ating sinumpaang tungkulin. Lalo na sa mga binitewa natin na mga pangako. Kailangan rin natin ipamalas ang ating di matatawarang liderato, kakayahan, abilidad, at integridad higit sa lahat. Sa pamamagitan ng kanilang mga boto, tumaya na sa ating kakayahan ang mga kababayan natin. Kailangan naman natin patunayan na tama at hindi masasayang ang kanilang pagtitiwala sa atin. Together, a clan on several lot of work to do 
and, ha and have a lot to look forward to as well. Your province has truly gone a long way and grown into leaps and bounds. I'm glad that over the decades, a clan is steadfast in, its, in following its vision as a progressive province with its empowered and peace-loving people, living amidst a safer environment, stable and growing economy, anchored on agro-ecological agro tourism development that is globally competitive and sustainable under a responsive and accountable governance. I'm confident that Aklan and its people <coughs> will continue to be progressive and successful <coughs> as long as you continue to cooperate and work together. Muli, hangat ko ang tagumpay ng bawat isa sa ating mga leaders sa Aklan. Sa mga Aklanons, patuloy ninyo silang suportahan at pagkatiwalaan. Kailangan nila ang inyong kooperasyon. Ang tagumpay ng inyong probinsya ay nasa kamay ninyong lahat. Sa kanilang tauspusong paglilingkod at sa inyong todong suporta, ang aklan ay patuloy na uunlad. Rest assured that I will continue to support your goals and efforts in the best way I can. So, more power to all of you. Mabuhay ang aklan and may God. Bless us all. Marami pong salamat. Magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Thank you very much, Madam Senator Cynthia Villar. And of course, Ladies and gentlemen, we have voted for her as our number one senator in the province of Aklan. And uh, that's the reason why we are very honored to have her as our Administri administering officer of the elected officials of the province of Aklan, starting off from our uh, executive in the province to the mayors, to the vice mayors, and to our SP members of the municipality. Yes, maraming maraming salamat po, Madam Senator. And of course, we will now proceed to the highlight of today's affair. The oath-taking ceremony of the provincial and municipal officials of this province for the year 2019-2020. And to start with, let's begin with the mass outtaking of the Sangguniang Bayan members for the first legislative district. Honorable men, as we call your name, please come up on the stage together with your spouse. First, we have the SB members from the municipality of Banga, SB Giselle M. Rata. SB Teddy Tupas. SB Larry Mami and SB Allen Mami. For the municipality of Batan, Honorable JK Amir L. Demeterio, Honorable Anadisa B. Panado, Honorable Eric A. Del Rosario, Honorable Adam C. Mamay, and Honorable Mirlin S. Cortez. And for the SB member of the municipality of Calibo, we have Honorable Mark Ace L. Bautista. Honorable Philip Y. Kimpo Jr. and Honorable Kitche F. Luces. For the Municipality of Madalag, Honorable Alan M. Lim, Honorable Yudes Torres, Honorable Elizar Roa, Honorable Anthony Nabor, Honorable Jandi Navarrete, and Honorable Deckard Gonzalez. And for the Municipality of New Washington, we have Honorable Rolly O. Ikinia Jr. And now, may uh, we request Honorable Senator Cynthia Villar to administer the oath.
At kusa akong babalikatin ang pananagutang ito ng walang anumang pasubali o hangarin umiwas. Kasi anawa ako ng Diyos. Congratulations. much and once again congratulations to our Sangguna Bayan members for the second district. And for the second batch of the second district of the province of Aklan, we have the municipality of Leso. Honorable Micah F. Icasas. We have Honorable Mary Lucy R. De La Cruz. We have Honorable Redentor U. Taran. We have Honorable Peter Cyril F. Bisana. We have Honorable Ulysses R. Irabon. We have Honorable Romy R. Abelio. We have Honorable Rafael M. Silverio. And Honorable Ermina L. Morales. And also for the municipality of Navas, we have Honorable Stephen E. Bolivar. Honorable Leofilin F. De La Torre. Honorable Ciciroy Maicon C. Panalo and Honorable Masigito E. Santiago. For the Municipality of Tangalan, SP Member O.D. Sengueras, Honorable Elizer Aguirre, Honorable Glenn Pinson, Honorable Nolina Toriaga, Honorable Edina E. Halito, Honorable Alexander Tempora, Honorable Peter Ascanio, and Honorable Vicente Galito.
Okay, thank you so much. And once again, congratulations. So we're seven and five members from the second district. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us all witness the mass undertaking of our Honorable Municipal Vice Mayors. And to start with, we have Honorable Vice Mayor William R. Bautista Jr. of the Municipality of Bata. Honorable Vice Mayor Fanny C. Dumagin of the Municipality of Purwanga. Honorable Vice Mayor Claridel M. Sumedo of the Municipality of Ibahay. Honorable Cynthia Pace de la Cruz of the Municipality of Calibu. Honorable Vice Mayor George R. Villarubia of the Municipality of Lezo. Honorable Rex T. Gobatina of the Municipality of Madalag. Honorable Vice Mayor Wilfredo Cesar of Davas. And of course, Honorable Vice Mayor G. T. Fuentes of the Municipality of Tamalan. Oh. 
Republika ng Pilipinas, Provincia ng Aklan, panunumpa sa katungkulan, itaas po natin ang ating kanang kamay at tulad na ito akin. Ako si ang inyong pangalan. Ako sa Arlita Panginoong Mami. Ng bayan ng Baka Aklan, nahihirang sa katungkulan bilang ang inyong posisyon, at kalit ng bayan ng Baka, ay taimtim na nanunumpa, ay taimtim na nanunumpa, at katapatan. Natuto pa rin ko ng pumusay at katapatan. Naabot ng aking kakayahan. Naabot ng aking kakayahan. Ang mga tungkulin ng aking kasalukuyang patungkulan. Ang mga tungkulin ng aking kasalukuyang patungkulan. At mga iba pang pagkaraan ito ay gagampanan ko. At ang mga iba pang pagkaraan ito ay gagampanan ko. Sa ilalim ng Republika ng Pilipinas sa ilalim ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Na aking itataguyod at ipagtatanggol, na aking itataguyod at ipagtatanggol ang Konstitusyon ng Pilipinas, ang Konstitusyon ng Pilipinas, na tunay na mananalig at tatalima ako rito. Na tunay na mananalig at tatalima ako rito. Na susundin ko ang mga batas, na susundin ko ang mga batas, kautosang legal, na kautosang legal, at mga mapakyarihan na At po sa akong babalikatin, at po sa akong babalikatin, ang pananagutang ito, ang pananagutang ito, nang walang anumang pasubali, nang walang anumang pasubali, o hangari ng biwas, o hangari ng biwas. Kasi anawa ako ng Diyos. Kasi anawa ako ng Diyos. Congratulations. Republika ng Pilipinas, Probinsya ng Aklan, panunumpa sa katukulan. Itaas niyo po ang inyong kanang kamay at sumunod kayo sa akin. Ako si ang inyong pangalan ng bayan ng Aklan na hinirang sa katukulan bilang ang inyong posisyon ay taimtim na nanunumpa Natuto pa rin po ng buong husay at katapatan. Natuto pa rin po ng buong husay at katapatan. Sa abot ng aking kakayahan. Sa abot ng aking kakayahan. Ang mga tungkuli ng aking kasalukuyang patungkulan. Ang mga tungkuli ng ng mga iba pang at mga iba pang pagkaraan ito ay gagampanan At mga ito sa ilalim ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Sa ilalim ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Na aking itataguyod at ipagtatanggol. Na aking itataguyod at ipagtatanggol. Ang Konstitusyon ng Pilipinas. Ang Konstitusyon ng Pilipinas. Na tunay na mananalig at tatalima ako rito. Na tunay na mananalig at tatalima ako rito. Na susundin ko ang mga batas. Na susundin ko ang mga batas. Mga kautosang legal. At mga kapangyarihan ng Republika ng Pilipinas. At mga ibang pinahira ng mga sagdang na nagtama ng kapangyarihan. At po sa akong babalikatin ang pananagutang ito. At po sa akong babalikatin ang mga pangyarihan. Na walang anumang pasubali. Na walang pasubali. 
much. Once again, congratulations to our own Mayor Rodel uh, Ramos of the Municipality of Batan. Yes, and now for the Municipality of Burwanga, Honorable Mayor Concepcion P. Lavindao. At mga kapangyarihan ng Republika ng Pilipinas. At kusa kong babalikatin, at kusa kong babalikatin ang pananagutang ito, ang pananagutang ito ng walang anumang pasubali, ng walang anumang pasubali o hangaring umiwas. O hangaring umiwas. Kasi hanawa ako ng Diyos. Kasi hanawa ako ng Diyos. Congratulations. Thank you. There you have it. Congratulations to Municipal Mayor Concepcion Labindao of the Municipality of Burwanga. And this time, we would like to call on Honorable Mayor Mary Lynette R. Fernandez of the Municipality of Leso. Provincia ng Aklan, panunumpa sa katungkulan, itaas nyo ang inyong kanang kamay at sumunod kayo sa akin. Ako si, ang iyong pangalan? Ako si Mary Lynette R. Fernandez ng Leso Aklan, ng bayan na Leso Aklan, na hinirang sa katungkulan bilang ang iyong posisyon, na hinirang sa katungkulan bilang alkalde ng bayan ng Leso, ay taimtim na nanunumpa ay taimtim na nanunumpa, natutuparin ko ng buong husay at katapatan, natutuparin ko ng buong husay at katapatan, sa abot ng aking kakayahan, sa abot na aking kakayahan, ang mga tungkulin ng aking kasulukuyang katungkulan, ang mga tungkulin ng aking kasulukuyang katungkulan, at ng mga iba pang pagkaraan ito'y gagampanan ko, 
at ng mga iba pang pagkaraan nito'y gagampanan ko sa ilalim ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Sa ilalim ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Na aking itataguyod at ipagtatanggol ang Konstitusyon ng Pilipinas. Na aking itataguyod at ipagtatanggol ang konstitu Konstitusyon ng Pilipinas. Na tunay na mananalig at tatalima ako rito. Na tunay na mananalig at tatalima ako rito. Nasusundin ko ang mga batas, nasusundin ko ang mga batas, mga kautosang legal, mga kautosang legal at mga kapangyarihan ng Republika ng Pilipinas. At mga kapangyarihan ng Republika ng Pilipinas. At kusa kong babalakatin ang pananagutang ito, at kusa kong babalikatin ang mga pananagutang ito. Nang walang anumang pasubali, nang walang anumang pasubali o hangaring umiwas. O hangaring umiwas. Kasi nawa ako ng Diyos. Kasi nawa ako ng Diyos. Congratulations. Okay, thank you and congratulations, Honorable Mary Lynette Fernandez of the Municipality of Lezo. Now, may we call on from the Municipality of Makato, Honorable Mayor Abencio T. Torres. Republika ng Pilipinas, Probinsya ng Aklan, panunumpa sa katungkulan, itaas niyo po ang inyong kanang kamay at sumunod kayo sa akin. Ako si, ang pangalan, Ako si Abensio Torres, ng bayan, ng bayan, na hinirang sa katungkulan bilang ang posisyon, na hinirang sa katungkulan bilang alkalde ng bayan ng Makato, ay taimtim na nanunumpa ay taimtim na nanunumpa natutuparin ko ng buong husay at katapatan na natutuparin ko ng buong husay at katapatan sa abot ng aking kakayahan sa abot ng aking kakayahan ang mga tungkulin ng aking kasalukuyang katungkulan ang mga tungkulin ng aking kasalukuyang katungkulan at mga iba pang pagkaraan nito gagampanan ko at ng iba dito uh, pag Pagkaraan nito'y gagampanan ko sa ilalim ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Sa ilalim ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Na aking itataguyod at ipagtatanggol na aking itataguyod at ipagtatanggol ang Konstitusyon ng Pilipinas ang Konstitusyon ng Pilipinas na tunay na mananalig at tatalima ako rito na tunay na mananalig at tatalima ako rito Nasusundin ko ang mga batas. Nasusundin ko ang mga batas. Mga kautosang legal. Mga kautosang legal. At mga kapangyarihan ng Republika ng Pilipinas. At mga kapangyarihan ng Republika ng Pilipinas. At kusa akong babalikatin. At kusa akong babalikatin. Ang pananagutang ang ito. Pananagutang ito. Nang walang anumang pasubali. Nang walang anumang pasubali. O hangaring o ha umiwas. O hangaring umiwas. Kasi nawa ako ng Diyos. Kasi nawa ako ng Diyos. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, and once again, congratulations to Honorable Mayor Abencio Torres of Makato. Moving on for the municipal mayor of the municipality of Badalag, Mayor Alfonso Pusoy Gubatina. Republika ng Pilipinas, Probinsya ng Aklan, panunumpa sa katungkulan. Itaas nyo ang inyong kanang kamay at sumunod kayo sa akin. Ako si ang inyong pangalan. Ako si Alfonso A. Gabatina. Nambaya ng... Nang Madalag Aklan. 
Nahinirang sa katungkulan bilang ang inyong posisyon. Nahinirang sa katungkulan bilang alkalde ng bayan ng Madalag. Ay taimtim na nanunumpa. Ay taimtim na nanunumpa. Natuto pa rin ko ng buong husay at katapatan. Natuto pa rin ko ng buong husay at katapatan. Sa abot ng aking kakayahan. Sa abot ng aking kakayahan. Ang mga tungkuli ng aking kasalukuyang katungkulan. Ang mga tungkuli ng aking kasalukuyang katungkulan. At na mga iba pang pagkaraan nito'y gagampanan ko. At na mga iba pang pagkaraan nito'y gagampanan ko. Sa ilalim ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Sa ilalim ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Na aking itataguyod at ipagtatanggol Na aking itataguyod at ipagtatanggol Ang Konstitusyon ng Pilipinas Ang Konstitusyon ng Pilipinas Na tunay na mananalig at tatalima ako rito Na tunay na mananalig at tatalima ako rito Nasusundin ko ang mga batas Nasusundin ko ang mga batas Mga kautosang legal Mga kautosang legal At mga kapangyarihan ng Republika ng Pilipinas At mga kapangyarihan ng, Pil ng Republika ng Pilipinas at kusa kong babalikatin At kusa kong babalikatin ang pananagutang ito ang pananagutang ito nang walang anumang pasubali na wala namang pasubali o hangaring umiwas o hangaring umiwas kasi wanawa ako ng Diyos kasi nawa ako ng Diyos congratulations okay. thank you Congratulations, Mayor Alfonso A. Gubatina of the Municipality of Badalag. And this time, we have the Mayor of the Municipality of Tangalan, Honorable Gary T. Puentes. Republika ng Pilipinas, Probinsya ng Aklan, panunumpa sa katungkulan. Itaas niyo po ang inyong kanang kamay at sumunod kayo sa akin. Ako si, ang inyong pangalan? Engineer Gary Torre Puentes. Ng bayan? Barangay Dumatad, Tangalan, Aklan. Nahinirang sa katungkulan bilang ang inyong nahinirang posisyon? Nahinirang sa katungkulan bilang alkalde ng bayan ng Tangalan. Ay taimtim na nanunumpa. Ay taimtim na nanunumpa. Natuto pa rin ko ng buong husay at katapatan. Natuto pa rin ko ng buong husay at katapatan. Sa abot ng aking kakayahan. Sa abot ng aking kakayahan. Ang mga tungkuli ng aking kasalukuyang katungkulan. Ang mga tungkuli ng aking kasalukuyang katungkulan. At mga iba pang pagkaraan nito'y gagampanan ko. At ang iba pang pagkaraan nito'y gagampanan ko. Sa ilalim ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Sa ilalim ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Na aking itataguyod at ipagtatanggol. At aking itataguyod at ipagtatanggol. Ang Konstitusyon ng Pilipinas. Ang Konstitusyon ng Pilipinas. Na tunay na mananalig at tatalima ako rito. Na tunay na mananalig at tatalima ako rito. Nasusundin ko ang mga batas. Nasusundin ko ang mga batas. Mga kautosang legal. Mga kautosang legal. At mga kapangyarihan ng Republika ng Pilipinas. At ng mga kapangyarihan ng Republika ng Pilipinas. At kusa kong babalikatin. At kusa kong babalikatin. Ang pananagutang ito. Ang pananagutang ito. Nang walang anumang pasubali. Nang walang anumang pasubali. O hangaring umiwas. O hangaring umiwas. Kasihan nawa ako ng Diyos. Kasihan, kasihan nawa ako ng Diyos. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much and once again congratulations to Mayor Gary D. Fuentes of the Municipality of Tangan Island. First, palakpakan natin si uh, Senator Villar, ha? Ma matrabaho kita na atong garang hintao ka na makarong adlaw. Thank you so much, ma'am. Aga, sa atong niya pagpanayon, let's move on for the oath-taking 
of the member of the Sangguniang Palalawigan 1st District. Let's to start, to start with Sangguniang Palalawigan member Nemesho P. Neron. And of course, Sangguniang Palalawigan member Juris P. Sucro. Sangguniang Palalawigan member Emmanuel Soviet Russia Aguirre de la Cruz. Sangguniang Palalawigan member for the second district. And uh, Sangguniang Palalawigan member Jose Miguel M. Miraflores. Sangguniang Palalawigan member J. E. Tejada. Sangguniang Palalawigan member S. L. Flores. And of course, Sangguniang Palalawigan member Nelson D. Santa Maria.
per family or per SP member. So, kung uh, pwede ro, atong ibang uh, board members sa inyo. Per family tayo, per board member. Itigil ko, per board member po tayo ang per family. Per family po.
ng ating tanang kamay. Tunod kayo sa akin. Ako si ang iyong pangalan. Ako si Reynaldo Piaras Kimbo. Ng bayan ng... Ng bayan ng Kalibo, Provincia ng Agran. Na hiniram sa katungkulan bilang ang iyong posisyon. Na hiniram sa katungkulan bilang busy governor. Ay taintim na nanunumpa. Ay taintim na nanunumpa. Natutuparin ko ng buong usay at katapatan. Natutuparin ko ng buong usay at katapatan. Naabot ng aking kakayahan. Naabot ng aking kakayahan. Ang mga tungkulin ng aking kasalukuyang katungkulan. Ang mga tungkulin ng aking kasalukuyang katungkulan. At mga iba pang pagkaraan ito ay gagagpanan ko. At nagpa pa ng pagkaraan ito ay gagagpanan ko. Sa ilalim na Republika ng Pilipinas. Ang Republika ng Pilipinas Na aking itataguyod at ipagtatanggol Na aking itataguyod at ipagtatanggol Ang Konstitusyon ng Pilipinas Ang Konstitusyon ng Pilipinas Na tunay na mananali at tatalima ako rito Na tunay na mananali at tatalima ako rito Na susundin ko ang mga batas Na susundin ko ang mga batas Mga kautusang legal Mga kautusang legal At mga kapangyarihan na rin at mga kapangyarihan ng Republika ng Pilipinas. At pusa kong babalikatin At pusa kong babalikatin Ang pananagutang ito Ang pananagutang ito Nang walang anumang pasubali Nang walang anumang pasubali O hangaring umiwas O hangaring umiwas Kasi hanawa ako ng Diyos Kasi hanawa ako ng Diyos Congratulations Ako si Florencio Tumbokan de la Flores. 
Nambayan ng Nambayan ng ibahayaklan Nahinirang sa katungkulan bilang ang posisyon Nahinirang sa katungkulan bilang Provincial Governor ng Provincia ng Aklan Ay taintim na nanunupa Ay taintim na nanunupa Natutupa rin po ng pumusay at katapatan Natutupa rin po ng pumusay at katapatan Sa abot ng aking kakayahan Sa abot ng aking kakayahan Ang mga tungkulin ng aking kasatukuyang katungkulan Ang mga tungkulin ng aking kasatukuyang katungkulan At mga iba pang pagkaraan ito'y gagampanan at mga iba pa ang pagkaraan nito ay gagampanan ko sa ilalim ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Sa ilalim ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Na aking itataguyod at ipagtatanggol na aking itataguyod at ipagtatanggol ang Konstitusyon ng Pilipinas ang Konstitusyon ng Pilipinas na tunay na mananalig at tatalima ako rito na tunay na mananalig at tatalima ako rito na susundin ko ang mga batas na susundin ko ang mga batas mga kautosang legal mga kautosang legal at mga kapangyarihan ng Republika ng Pilipinas at mga kapangyarihan ng Republika ng Pilipinas at kusa kong babalikatin at kusa kong babalikatin ang pananagutang ito ang pananagutang ito ng walang anumang pasubali ng walang anumang pasubali o hangaring umiwas o hangaring umiwas kasi anawa ako ng Siya na wako ng Diyos. Congratulations!
2022. This is a clear and resounding reaffirmation, reconfirmation and continued approval. Ko aton yung mga kasimanwang agano of the new Afghan's platform of government, programs, projects, advocacies, priorities, good performance, public service record, and brand of leadership. The Bugagan has continued its dominance of Aklan's political scene with the governor, vice governor, eight out of ten Sakuniang Pandalawian members, 15 out of 17 mayors, 13 out of 17 vice mayors, and 97 out of 136 Sanbunian Bayan members and the congressman of the second district all belonging to or allied with our local party Egyu Agar. Now was with the outgoing 17th Sanbunian Pandalawigan, the incoming 18th Sanbunian Pandalawigan under my watch shall remain transparent and accountable and shall continue to be proactive and responsive to the needs and aspirations of our people and provide the corresponding in a timely manner logistic support to the programs, projects, and priorities of our Provincial Chief Executive, Governor Mira Flores, for the general welfare of the people of Aklan. Now, uh, allow me, I have uh, occasion, uh, I can uh, publicly uh, extend my thanks and appreciation. Una sa kanan, sa aton nga dinoo, nga ana, ako nga nintugutan nga makapadayon nga magservisyo sa atong probinsya at sa atong kasimanong agano. Now, uh, inapasayamatan kumagin ruwa ko ng asawa imaurara ko ng primary uh, campaigner and supporter rapon ng mga uma Represented Ria Makarot ko ako ang iyong kabukulatan Isang kabukulatan si Atty. Maria Christine Kimpo Sa ako ang iyong mga ikmangon siblings Di Manang Ninia Di Manong Junior Kay Nang Rosel Kay Nang Reggie Kay Rod At sa ako ang iyong mga ikos of course, sa pamilya kong ako ng asawa from the Caliso and the Teno side of the family sa ako ng Abayao, former uh, Mayor Papi Caliso and uh, Mayor Dexter Caliso at sa grupo at uh, Uunungan iyang markato, pero ako ng mga kasing in-laws kompleto rin sa tagin now, uh, Kasim Suman from the Kimpo, Biares, and Zinko, Zarazar side of the family. Sagamat kitinyo ng atanan, patsyag na patsyag na mo ni Pili, ruin nyo ng pagpalangga kamo. Now, uh, gusto ko man ng pasagamatan, rungatun ng mga tibahan sa video ka na. Una, sa Tidyong Altamas na ginapangunahan kung aton nga bakong iliher na Mayor Denny Cano Rickfall Jr. at Vice Mayor Denny Puntong Rickfall. Now for sa grupo Uunungan, Palete, Mayor Dexter Caliso and Vice Mayor Ilek Patrick Latsika. Of course, sa baka, re-elected Mayor Erlinda 
Linda Mami and uh, Vice Majority Candidate Rosilito Nunong Fernandez and of course, former Mayor Antong Mami Sagamat Kinyo. Now for uh, Tidyuk Balan, nga ginapugnahan ni uh, re-elected Mayor Rodel Ramos, Agrahana nga Mayor Partner William Bautista. Again, sagamat kit sa Tidyuk Balan. Sa Tidyuk Buruanga, inadumagahan kung aton nga re-elected na Mayor Mayor Concepcion Itay Tabindao at naton nga newly elected Vice Mayor Fem Dumakin and of course former Mayor Quezon Tabindao at sa tanan ng mga kaibahan naton sa Tibiong Purwanga na bukit ng asagama kinyotanan. Now po, sa Tibiong Ibahay na ginapangunahan kung aton nga re-elected Mayor Joel Vera Flores and re-elected uh, Vice Mayor Claridel Larry Sulido. Ang sa tanan ng mga katapo at supporters in Tibiu Ibahay. Now, for Tibiu Kalibo na uh, ginagumagahan kung uh, outgoing Vice Mayor Matibig Mans Ligalado and our newly elected uh, Vice Mayor Cynthia Doc Cynthia De La Cruz Dibyong Kalibo Abukin Kasagama Kinyotana Now for Dibyong Leso na ginapangunahan ng aton na uh, re-elected na Mayora Mayora Linet Fernandez and re-elected Vice Mayor George Emilia Rubia and of course former Mayor uh, Vic Fernandez at sa tanan ng mga kaibahan natin sa video leso na bukit kasagaman kayo tanan. Now, for uh, atong ng kaibahan sa libaka Re-elected Mayor Charito Charini Navarosa and re-elected Vice Mayor Vincent Vince Navarosa at sa tanan ng mga kaibahan natin sa Ibakao abukin ka sa gaman inyo tanan. Now, sa Tidyong Madalang na ginagumayahan kung atin ka re-elected Mayor Alfonso Tinto Gubatina and uh, re-elected Vice Mayor Rex Gubatina at sa tanan ng mga loyal na miyembro in Ibiu Madalag ang bukit ng sagama Pinyotanan. Now, sa Ibiu Makato na ginapangunahan kung aton na uh, re-elected and now on his third term Mayor uh, Attorney Ben Torres and uh, Anna uh, Vice Mayor of the Candidate Marcosia Using Rusia at sa tanan ng mga kaibahan natin sa Tibiong Makato na bukit kasagama kinyo tanan. Now sa Tibiong Malay na kinapangunahan kung uh, former Mayor John Yap at uh, former Mayor Abraham Zuwalo at sa tanan na itong kaibahan sa Tibiong Malay na bukit na sa gama kinyo tanan. Now sa Tibiong Malinaw na ginagubagahan ng atong newly elected mayor Josephine Giorgio Kikinia Agrahana na partner sa pagdumaga in Panuang Malinaw Attorney Vice Mayor Attorney Wilbert Ariel Igoy at sa tanan ng mga kaibahan natin sa Tibiong Malinaw na bukit na sayama inyong tanan 
Now sa Tibio Abbas, ngayon na po kunahan kung uh, re-elected na yun, James Solanoy, agdaanang uh, re-elected Vice Mayor, Wilfredo Cesar, ang sa aton ng tanan ng mga ibahan sa Tibio Abbas, again, sa Yamangit, Kinyo Tanan. Now sa Tibio New Washington, under the re-elected mayor Shimon and Francisco and the newly elected vice mayor Christian Peralta and sa tanan ng mga kaibahan natin sa Tikyong New Washington. Again, thank you again, Kinyo Tanan. Now for Tikyong Dumansya, na ginadumayahan kung atin ng re-elected mayor Mayor Jessica Toto Tiplo Trevo and Vice Mayor of the Candidate Evangeline Jenny Ibabaw and sa tanan ng mga katapo kaibahan, supporters in the Buk Numansya magsagaman kin sagaman kin kinyo tanan Now sa Buk Tahayan na ginatumagahan kung aton ng re-elected mayor Gary Fuentes Agrana na partner in the development of the municipal of Tanana, Vice Mayor Jim Quentes, ang sa atong tanan ng mga kaibahan sa Tibiyong Tahala, again, abukin ka sa gama, kinyo tanan. Now, with the fresh money, naging na Tugyan ka doon kung ato ang mga pabuyong ang ganon. Pakasaling ka mo. Nga, as in the past three years, sa ako ang pagtumaga kung opisina in PC Gubernador at kung ato ang sangguniang pagkalawigan, you can expect the same degree of performance but we will definitely try to do better at sa tanan ng mga pamuyong ang ganon na nag-bullying suporta sa kausa itibiyo ka kaya abukin ng kasagama kinyo tanan Now, bilang inyong busy governor at nag-dumaga o punta provincial ako din nga ginapunitara ito man kinyo pro servisyo na may integridad may kaparabilidad service with excellence service with competence and to serve with honesty Again, padayon arangkada tibiyo kagal arangkada provinsya kagal
boys now uh, second term SP according to him ang tibio po ay nanalo ng 81% of the elected officials palagpakan po natin kayo lahat going into the third decade tibio some of you are already second or third generation speaking the part belonging to the party of Tibio, I very much admire your loyalty. Gusto ko po rin pasalamatan ng ating Governor, Governor Jobet Mina Flores and his lovely wife, former Mayor, Mayor Martin, Lulu Martin Mina Flores. And of course, our Vice Governor, Vice Governor Attorney Boy Kipo, and his very, very charming and lovely wife, our former Vice Mayor, Vice Mayor Gabriele Billy Caliso Kipo. And of course, I would like to thank the top leadership of our party, the Nationalist Party. Many, a lot of you don't know, I belong to the Nationalist Party. Some time ago, long, long time ago, pinakilala po ko ni Coco, my dear friends, Coco and Gwen Pimentel, kay si Chapillar and immediately she accepted me as like a long-loss family member. Maraming maraming salamat po si Chia and Manny Villar. Thank you, thank you very much. Nakita niyo po, noong nakaraan na eleksyon, si Chia ay malayo ang agwat sa boto niya sa second place. Si Cynthia yata naka 24 million ang kanyang second place ay 18 million lang. Ayun po, ayun po ang puso ni Cynthia Villar. They treat, she treats us like a family and she always uh, show her affection for the members of the Nationalist Party. Siguro within seven days after May 13, when I visited si Chavilla, nakamaong ako, naka-t-shirt, sabi ni si Chia, mag-take off ka na. So kaya kanina ay din ako nag-take off kasi nag-take off na po ko kay si Chia last May 24. Gusto ko pong batiin ang ating mga SPs S.P. J. Tijata of Tagalan, Nelson Santa Maria of Ibahay, Miguel Mera Flores, S.L. Flores, Ramon Helito, Juris Sucro, Ampun Niron, and Soviet Russia de la Cruz. The members of the party of Tibio, led by Jojo Iquitia and Vice Mayor Ariel Igoy of Malinao. Mayor Gary Fuentes and Vice Mayor Jim Fuentes of Tagalan. Mayor James Sudaloy and Vice Mayor Jerry Cesar of Navas. Mayor Toto Tempronevo of Numancia. Mayor Charit Tavarosa and Vice Mayor Vincent Tavarosa of Libaja. Mayor Elinda Dame and former Mayor Anton Mame. Mayor Lynette Fernandez and ex-Mayor Vic Fernandez. Mayor Abenza Torres and the SP members of Makato. Mayor Inday Abidao and Vice Mayor Pepe Tumaki. And of course, my very good friend, former Mayor Quezon Abidao. Mayor Dito Tumbatina of Matalag and the officials of Matalag. Vice Mayor Dali Sanito, Mayor John Flores and our 
another town called Mimai. The first scouts of the Philippines, headed by the council executive, Ferdinand Abayo, President Crispy de la Cruz. The SPs of Malinao, Tagala, Tapas, and Makato. Maabugin na salamat sa inyong pagsuporta kapon iya sa video. My friends, colleagues, relatives, ladies and gentlemen, loyalty is content and shows the love rather than just saying it. True love is being able to stay with a group, with a person under any circumstances. Love is only a feeling, but being loyal is an action, and actions speak louder than the world. Ang inyo pong representante for the past three weeks ay parang na testing po. Apat po ang kandidatang sa speakership, tatlo ang nag-offer kung ano-ano, lalo na yung dalawa nag-offer ng pera. Recently, three days ago, may isang kandidatang nag-offer ng dalawang milyon sa inyong representante. Ang sabi ko po sa kaibigan ko, I'm sorry, I cannot accept your gift. How can I look myself at the mirror every morning at titiklan po yung mukha ko kung ang dalawang milyon piso? Alam ko, being politicians, our life is very tough. And there are always people we should rely on and they rely on us. Loyal friends are the ones who see us as someone precious to them and will never abandon us. Even if they have to suffer with us, I po ang nangyari noong 2019 na dami-dami po na tentasyon na binigay sa atin sa video. Ang sinabi ko po bago mag-eleksyon, our strength lies not in the weaknesses of our political opponents, but in the faith, in the loyalty that we have with each other. Kaya po, nakita na mong po natin noong nalingan na eleksyon, 81% po ng ating grupo ay nalala. It is not easy to find and form a lifelong group of friends like the Bill. It is even harder to find those who are loyal to the group, not because of a sense of duty, but because they want to. Not everyone can do that. For the past 27 and years, our group of the Bion have been together. Those who can take that leap of faith and have as much faith in us, the Bion, are our true friends. So, let's uh, congratulate each other take a good look at all the people around us who really care for you, for the group of Tibio. Recently, last May 13, our leaders jumped off the edge for us and with us. Maabog ito sa abang ito talal. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much.
for the third time, the province, the province of Aklan has elected our Honorable Governor Florencio T. Miraflores. Congressman Ted Don of Tampopo Naresco, to my partner in the legislative uh, body, uh, Vice Governor Boy Timpo, and his uh, lady, the former Congresswoman and former Vice Governor Billy Timpo. Thank you, Billy, for uh, arranging all of these uh, inaugural uh, activities. Ibao karatanan na preparar sa pagkaraang inaugural uh, activities. So, the Sandrian Panalawigan members on the eastern side and the western side of Aklan to our municipal mayor, uh, Kinyo Tanan, iniuna po ka po pagpatubatuhon, pero nasairan ninyo ro akong higit nga hantog na pagpasayaman. My heartfelt gratitude to the leaders of the 17 towns of the province of Aklan, the leaders of the Bio, which we founded 21 years ago. Kamo hay naging haligi itatong ng partido and uh, we have to stay the leadership of the province of Aklan through your efforts and through your wide work during this past election. Tagamat kitinyo tanan. Sa ato ng mga kapitanes, who are also here, our uh, local leaders. Thank you very much for the hard work that you did in the past May election. This victory is because of you who has worked hard for the victory of Tipio Aklan. To my wife, uh, the former mayor of Ibahay, uh, Mayor Lulu, Pwede na ako ng kalipatan na hindi nga dapat pensyonahon ko binimaw. Mas hindi na po ito na magpasakaon sa bagay. Uh, to all of us, when I had been nga uh, hapon, pero adlaw ka itong tanan. Fellow Aklanons, I am deeply honored with the mandate you have given me once again to be your governor. Last night, I was recalling the first time I delivered my first inaugural address on my first term as governor 24 years ago. Today marks my ninth inaugural address and I cannot help but feel blessed and deeply grateful for the loyalty of family and friends 
for the unfaltering trust given to me by Aklano throughout my public service journey. For tirelessly supporting the causes I have always embraced for the poor and marginalized sector of our constituency. Tagamat, tagamat, kikinyo tanan. We are here before you today to continue the mandate you have given us. We are here ready to serve and assure fellow Afghanos continued easy access to public services, quality health care, and best educational opportunity. We will pursue further pro-poor, pro-health, pro-youth, and pro-education program and strengthen the great development trust of the province of Aklan in agriculture and tourism. This has been our consistent direction that defines my administration's vision for the province of Aklan. We shall continue our work towards these goals so that the province of Aklan will reach first-class status from fifth class when I started in 1994. Today, Atlanta stands proud to have two congressional districts, and we shall work together to achieve the development goals of the province of Atlanta. We offer consistency in our brand of public service during the campaign. Atlantans can expect that our governance will continue to be excellent in aspects of financial administration, social protection, disaster preparedness, peace and order. While Aklan is already considered the Grand Slam winner of the seal of good local governance, we will continue to aspire for consistency. We will remain focused on maintaining our status as the province with the highest contribution in locally sourced income in the country. I will continue to take on the challenge of being a health champion. Health has always been my priority and I took time to understand the system and how to make it better and more responsive to the people, especially the poor. Even before the universal health care law was passed, we have already started several reforms and initiatives here in the province together with the Department of Health, the Swilig Family Foundation, and my core team. When I visited the family of a mother who died in childbirth in Barangay Nazaret, Borwanga, I saw the disconnect in the healthcare system from the household to the barangay to the municipal and provincial level health facility which caused the unnecessary death of a mother. That experience has made me realize that we needed to establish a responsive health system with emphasis in taking care of the poor. I am grateful to the Department of Health for recognizing the efforts we have initiated in the province of Aklan by choosing us as one of the universal health care advanced implementation sites. This is very timely because we have already started the groundwork in integrating the province-wide system of expanding our provincial local health board to include all the municipal health officers and crucial stakeholders. Now, I want to share with you the interventions that we have started in preparation for full integration. First, our guiding principle in all these reforms is what will benefit the patient and our client. Our current system needs to be upgraded, hence we are shifting from an interlocal health zone system to a district health system. We organize the districts 
according to accessibility of the patient to health facilities and not by geographic boundary. So this type of system, the province will be divided into six districts. Each district will be composed of several rural health units and the referral hospital. With the district health system in place, what will be wanted is that each level of health facility should be functional as to the kind of services that it should provide. For each barangay health station to be strategically located and if it is identified as a birthing facility, it should have a midwife assigned to handle normal delivery. For each rural health units to be four in one accredited, should at least have a secondary laboratory. For each district hospital to be accredited as level one hospital and a provincial hospital as a level two hospital facility to be upgraded to level three. I have also noticed that our provincial hospital is overcrowded with normal deliveries and the outpatient cases that they see every day is increasing. Hence, it is proposed to have a new organizational structure for our rural health unit. There has to be at least two doctors in each rural health unit. One who is the municipal health officer and the other one must be a clinician who handles consultation every day. Also, it is recommended that all midwives must be assigned in the birthing facilities to handle deliveries. If this structure will be fully functionalized, we can unburden our hospitals of the uncomplicated cases and normal delivery. There is a recommended structuring of the provincial health office to adapt to the new functions and roles mandated by universal health care. Lastly, we have fully supported our barangay health workers who have a very crucial role in our health system. We are proposing to provide additional incentives whenever they refer patients for prenatal, delivery, postpartum, and family planning. A lot has been accomplished over the past few years, but I am highly excited on what we can still accomplish in the next few years as we take on the challenge as an advanced implementation type for the universal health care law. The closure of Boracay presented some concerns, especially the revenues from our ports, which play a major role in our financial capabilities to support our hospital operation. So we extended our full support to the efforts of the Boracay Interagency Task Force with the end view of realizing the timeline for rehabilitation and reopening of Boracay. With our concerted effort for the new Boracay, our operations returned to normal and we have recovered lost revenue. <coughs> now we are again on track to our goals for healthcare development. Let me close by thanking you from the bottom of my heart for your continued trust and confidence and for believing in you. I would like also to especially thank my family, Tina and the Beth. <coughs> Marales has passed away. Kapo and Anna, and my wife, Lulu, till then, Joanne, Miguel, and Luan, and especially my grandchildren, Louise and Corin, who serves I must, as my stress reliever in the most tiring of days. And though Nanay is not with us physically, she is always present in my heart, serving as a model in stewardship. He taught us to be good and responsible stewards of the gifts God has given us. Let us thank God 
for the blessings He has bestowed on us and that He will continue to shower us with the grace and strength to face the challenges of the work ahead of us. Let us keep our faith in God and in and 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 each other stronger than ever before because only then we can stay true to the oath we took today. Join me once more in making a difference to improve the lives of Akranon for a bigger, brighter, and better Akran. Thank you and good day. of the provincial and municipal uh, elected officials and uh, we will have lunch and of course uh, we would also like to thank our Rundanya Di Bahai and uh, while we are having lunch right then we will be entertained by uh, Rundanya Di Bahai. And of course, kasi mo natin niya Professor Martin, dumatan niya mga katapi, katapu, itapi, Pilipi National Police, manapakama natin, dumatan niya mga PNP, Santa Maria, pati iba mga kong makroon niya at ilaw. And of course, for the Grace Before Meal, everyone is requested to please stand up. Pag-apangamuyo kita sa pag-apasalaman kung atong niya crush sa kapag-abatunan. Ibutang natin kung atong niya kaugalingon sa presensya at pag-ibugma. Itatong niya Diyos Amay, Diyos Anak, at Diyos Espiritu Santo. Amen. Maluan niya inuho, amay kinapasalamatan ka namon sa padayon niya pagtililipon bilang inyong mga tumuluho. Lord God, salamat din niya ako sa regalo ni mong kabuhi, regalo ni mong kaaga, mga pilidad, padayo ni mong pagpatinir kamon sa nautayang kalimutan. Lord God, kinaagda ka namon sa akong padayo niya pang ililipon bilang imong mga inunga ng mga aklanon. Inuho rong katawayan sa binog ng pungsod ng Pilipinas rong akong din na pinapangamuyo. Ang may kinatibungkit namon kimo na imong pangitumagahan, dung tanan niya nagabuyo din kahong sa gobyerno na biyongkit sa amon namot ang probinsyang aklan. Sa amon ng Congressman Nono Caresco, Gubernador Juven de la Flores, Vice Governor Boy Kimpo, mga miyembro ng Punta Provincial, sa tanan niya mga nagadumaga at 17 kapanwanganan kung ilong kapungsod. Kapayong inuong na imugit niya igabog na rung andang agaw at pwersang at inahangyanon sa pagganapa ng mga trabaho. Ang may ginatibong manamot kimo ng dayang krasya na amon na nan niya pagkapakanon, kapay Lord God, katanan kami na magkabagong kara. Padayo niya magkiligusa, magkiligog maanang sa kada isaga na may nating pagtuhog iti mo bilang amon niya tinuo sa tanan niya katigay ng kamay pa. Sa halang sa Diyos Amay, Diyos Anak at Diyos Pilipi Santo. Amen. Pagkalingkod yung kita, aga priya sa aton niya printing ng mga tables, ginaservey niyo ng pagkaon. And for those who are sitting sa aton niya, another sa center, di ka ron ay mag-serve ng aton niya buti. Abogin niya sa gamat sa tanan, no? Uh, Atan niya mga visitors who are here. We have also our national agency uh, or mga head of national agencies ngayon makaroon and uh, of course, what's the name of the national agency? 